Ναι, αυτό να μου πεις. Σωστά. Welcome everyone to the durational concert of social dissonance. Thank you for coming. Over there at the stand you can find our score. Unfortunately, we cannot achieve anything without your contribution, so please, your interpretation is very much appreciated and important to us. 
We would like you to ask you, um, we would like to have We would like to ask you to stay for the whole hour if it's possible. We will finish by 8 o'clock. Uh, and in the meantime, if you want to leave, of course you are free. It's just that um, you will be asked to give us a short feedback explaining why you are leaving, just because we want to uh, take into account your comments and learn from you. I have to let you know in advance that there is a live streaming, as you can see, and the video footage will be projected tomorrow at this space, at this wall over there. Uh, he, now you can see our friends in Castle uh, hosting the same conference. So, if you want to. gather closer to the Yes, yeah. but participation is not dangerous. No. Shall we start? Yes, we start. <laughs> okay, so uh, we can all pass from the um, laptop, from the camera, and try to introduce our, ourselves to the other group in Castle with a gesture or a movement that we think it is representative to our self. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
first one, I think. Is that the first one? Yes. Are they shy? They're laughing. Ah.
<laughs> okay, are we... Have we all conducted? No? have to do anything if you don't want to. Well, if no one else can do it, I don't particularly mind. Okay, thank you. So, Could you please tell us a couple of uh, we words? We are very hungry. Uh -huh. We okay. are very hungry. Okay, and fair in enough. In the beginning, it was a bit, a little bit difficult to understand you. Okay. Yeah, the acoustics are yeah. not very good. Then yeah. we notice what, what is going okay. on. Okay. We've seen such a lot today. So. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. And Jerry. suggest that we try to do something with this image of this person over there and the other room will do the same with your image in Kasse. Okay? Pardon me? Uh, Sorry, yeah, I will repeat myself. I suggest that we do something with uh, the image of this person and the same thing will be happening with your image in Kasse. And maybe we could try to describe this person. <laughs> At first. Suave. What? It's very suave. Mm -hmm. Suave. Suave. What does suave mean? Like smooth. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, could we maybe come closer and speak out loud? Uh, so, what do you think? Do I have to say? Let's do a material analysis of uh, the other. Deep B. What? His shirt is quite deep. Deep V. Yeah. He's got a deep V, yeah. Definitely. Why sexy? He's sexy. He's sexy. Uh -huh. What is sexy? What On him. The power. The power? He's powerful? He's not so masculine. I mean, so, yeah, he doesn't have so big mass. Does he? What do you, what do you think is sex in him? His clothes is open to here. His van. Yeah. The, uh, the van. But I wear to here, to the next. So he's open. Yeah. Okay, can we all speak up? So. Looks very clean. He's clean, yeah. He looks very British. Yeah. British? Yes. Are you British? No. 
No. Do I look like a British? <laughs> no, no, no. He's in love. With whom? The other girl, like he was with. Which girl? There was a girl, like long hair, and they were having this. Ah, he yes. was the one. So I guess he's in love. Or maybe he's a brother. <laughs> maybe he's in love. Isn't with he a little bit older than her? Maybe, yeah, I was a mother. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, just so don't, <laughs> don't leave the camera. Uh, yeah, uh, or this camera. This camera. Yeah, this is the camera that shows you in the other room in Castle. Okay, very good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's disappeared. What else? So we have said that he's sexy, strong, clean, British, smooth, in love with the girl with the long hair. He's a musician. He's a musician? What uh, instrument does he play? The piano. The piano? Yeah. He just played the piano. The keyboard. Okay. Do you agree? that he's a piano player? <laughs> I think he looks like more like an art intellectual. Also, in bearing in mind that this is the opening week in Kassel, I suppose I have this idea of, of this audience in Kassel being very much the art professionals coming, coming to the city. Mm -hmm. So that would be my idea. That he's an art intellectual. <laughs> I think uh, he looks like he's enjoying the camera. Yeah. So maybe he just went there for the event <laughs> to be on camera. Okay, he enjoys the camera. Lovely. Ah, bravo. Do uh, something for oh, them. Oh, Look, the, he, our oh, guy oh, does so many things for him. I think he used to have a mustache. Why? He just used to have it, but he got rid of it. When? A while ago, but he used to have a moustache at some point in his life. Okay, he used to have a moustache. What do you think about his economical state? I think he's not quite much money. He earns some money. He has a good job. He has a good job? But if he's a musician? I oh, know, that's his hobby. Ah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Anything else? He seems like an actor to me. Yeah. yeah. He loves to party for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> some. He loves alcohol. I agree. Yeah. He has mirrors all over his bedroom. He has mirrors all over his bedroom. Very good. And maybe, I don't know, some drugs? For sure. <laughs> For sure, yeah, you, you all agree? Some, some use. He has children. Yes? He has? How many? Three. Maybe he doesn't know how many. Yeah. <laughs> what? Maybe he doesn't know how many. <laughs> how many <was? laughs> Okay. Was? He, he made a gesture that he plays uh, um, the trumpet. Yeah, the trumpet. Ah, he did that. Yeah. Mm. He's a carnival. He's a carnival. Carnival. Ah. He's a carnival. <laughs> Ωραία, αυτή να μας γράψουν πάντως.
<laughs> He's a singer. He's a singer. We found it. He does the. He did the gesture. Yeah? No, I think I think it's like it's just jazz music. He's playing the trumpet. The trumpet, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's jazz music or swing, maybe. Or a band, a band. <laughs> okay, do you hear us there? Can somebody talk to me? Yeah. Yes, yes. Huh? Okay, can you tell us what you think about our person? What were the comments there? But maybe, Eleni, you have to do it near the microphone. Yes. She said that we should tell them what we got about the material. Okay. So, can someone come and uh, make a uh, summary of what you said? No, no, Eleni, just repeat them where you are. Older sister. Where did you get that idea? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, the way of behaving is uh, something uh, that of a smaller brother. No, no. <laughs> Do you have brother or sister? I have a younger brother. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Did you have any other assumptions? No, that's it. Okay, can we speak with a person with a deep V? Hi. 
Hi. You were here in our comments, right? I don't know how I was doing the performing here. Yeah. We would like you to confirm us some of them. For example, we said that you are smooth, clean, strong. Yeah, a powerful, <laughs> sexy shirt. He looks very British. Are you British? <laughs> no. Where are you from? From Germany. From Kassel. Ah, and there were some people that were saying that you are a musician and some others that you are an arts intellectual. Um, uh, second one. Music. Oh. I am a musician. Ah, okay. And some people said that uh, you are in love with a girl with the long hair that was next to you. Yes, they are right. <laughs> and we said that you earn some money. Do you? Um, if I earn some money. Do you earn much money, yeah? Much money. <laughs> no. As you said before, How much? much money. How much do you earn per month? <laughs> <laughs> okay, another question. Um, okay, um, here we said that you enjoy the camera and maybe you have mirrors all around your bed. Yes. Yes, yes you do? No, but I, uh, I don't fear the camera and I don't have mirrors. mirrors ah, anymore. okay. And do you have children? Maybe you don't know that you have children. Maybe, maybe. Okay, and I think this word. I think that's all. Ah, and something about drugs. I have no drugs. Oh, oh and, yeah. and no body hair. Uh, we said that you have no body hair. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, so, do you feel like talking about yourself? To us, to us now. Uh, what's your name? Oh, sorry? So what's your name? Oh, Owen. Owen. Okay, you can talk to us now. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm not really much in my life. I'm not a student, and I have been for a while. Uh, and I studied painting. And now I live in the Netherlands, and I continue to do painting. And uh, I have an older sister, but do you have a younger brother? Um, and yes, a little bit awkward in front of the camera, but then I hadn't exactly planned on doing any of this today. Um, beyond that. So the only thing that they got right was that you're an artist? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which was not so difficult to Assume. Well, yeah, I'm not wearing exactly my artist's uniform. No, since you are yeah, here, yeah. I mean. <laughs> How many artists we have here? Only you. <laughs> Come on. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Usually the majority is here. Yeah. It's artists. Curators, maybe? Yeah.
Ah, mas aquí es anterior. Ok. I recognize, I, I think we've kind of been following each other all yes, day. Yes, Why? Because these comments, which were the, the characteristics of 
his appearance that made us say we come to the church a lot. I think that uh, one thing that maybe we should also uh, talk about is um, you, you say that we are saying, but you know, we are not a um, homogeneous group, so you can have one common and you know, some other pe people of us would would uh, blindly disagree with that comment, so uh, yeah. um, I think we should be careful not to uh, talk about these characteristics as if they were kind of a consensus among this group. Yeah, but still we can assume which were the characteristics that made another person make this assumption. Sorry? Even if we, we don't believe that, mm -hmm. I mean, even if uh, the, the feeling I have from his image was not that he hurts a lot, maybe I can assume some characteristics that he has that made some other that made some other person in the room make this comment. But does that say something about the person uh, that we are supposed to comment upon, or does it say something about the person who's? <laughs> Uh, uttering this uh, comment. It's personal experiences that people have been made, and um, if you see a certain amount of people who are, are very well dressed, you assume they have a lot of money, mm. those kind of things. Why? His hair coat was a bit dead uh, compared to the rest of his clothing. It's one thing I was kind of looking at, um, at the very least. So definitely, yeah, he had this kind of sexual thing going on, you know, like he had the low thing and he was dressed well, sunglasses. It didn't suggest to me that he was well off, per se. But then the dancing in front of the camera and stuff, that would also suggest that he enjoys the spotlight a little bit, which would definitely put him on stage. I think a little bit. You said that he was British. Why? Um, it looked like this was once I had a seen like a stereotype to me. Like he looked a little bit. Which is this one? Uh, yeah, the British stereotype. The, the people I met in my life, they looked like a dark people. So it was my first. Yeah, his face and the short hair and like the uh, shirt and the uh, sunglasses. It was very, very um, You also said something. <laughs> I said he was clean, you see, I know he looked like he looked very neat because of his clothes. I don't know, like also his hair kind of looked like very who did the comment about the mirrors all around his bed wasn't it a little bit mean was that being mean well there's yeah there's, uh, there are some stories from ancient Rome about the mirrors so the poet Horace to do this, you know, so I don't know why I was thinking about. I guess it's a reflection of when people say you belong to the family. So you just you, you take something to an extreme because of the environment you say you say something extreme as a version of what you are actually thinking about the objective. I don't think you really experience it. And it would have been exciting to find out. I assume you didn't have children, but I just thought, well, that's the wrong assumption. 
and then someone else told that uh, maybe he's got one or more but he doesn't know Would you say all these things um, to this person if you met him for the first time in person? Would you say all these things, the same things, uh, if you met this person in real life, let's say not through Skype? So my behavior in front of a camera was completely different to what I'll be like in three dimensions, you know. So I don't know what his behavior would would he be dancing and doing giving away as much maybe? I, I don't even think so. I don't know. Like. The same with the gestures, no? I mean it was more like an interaction. I don't think that they meant something for ourselves. Not, I'm not talking for everybody, of course. But uh, in many cases, it was just, uh, okay, he did that, I will do the other one. He did uh, like a, um, like we were replying to the gestures. I'm saying that uh, the very first task, let's say, uh, it was um, the gestures, and the instruction was to give to to introduce yourself with a gesture that represents you in a way, um, and I think we played quite safe 
um, it was more like um, uh, more like a playful dialogue but without putting ourselves so much and of course it, it was like a, an introductory thing um, and I was wondering if we can uh, if we can try once to stick to this idea and keep repeating new gestures and new gestures and see how far we can get with this idea. Yeah, actually I want to also to say about that, that the first part was uh, you would think you know, more playful than it's needed, uh, but it helped us, I think it helped us a lot of end to find a representative because maybe if we said uh, if we asked for a volunteer before that breaking of the ice, maybe it wouldn't be easy for somebody to say that he is a very real volunteer. Um, and also, I think uh, hearing the comments from Casa and hearing the comments that we have here, I guess that it is very, it was very important for us. Uh, that we thought that the person there couldn't hear us because actually we could put them on mute and but they haven't put us on they could they hear us yeah our comments. but because we couldn't hear their comments we thought that they wouldn't be able to hear our comments neither so we were much more free to comment and that's why we at, uh, at last we made a list of uh, so many characteristics and some were also more um, assumptions for his personal life and stuff like that. Maybe some things that uh, somebody would find a little insulting if we knew that uh, he would hear them. And the other group in Kassel that uh, they thought that you were able to hear their comments, they said, well, yeah, because they were hearing ours. And so Yeah, I'm sure, but still, uh, still from all of us, um, you made this assumption. Yeah. 
uh, or I mean, yeah, everything that somebody commented to me is somehow related to what they noticed. For example, uh, you that you were the only one that noticed the love affair with the girl, and you thought that it was very obvious, but nobody else did, so it was not. Thank you. 